Hey, what's up, Shining Otaku? This is Irvin here today. To give you guys another Killbox update, we haven't done one of these in a while, and we've actually made a lot of progress on this project, so I'm really, really excited to talk to you guys about this. I've actually been having a hard time figuring out how I'm actually going to present this to you. Um, so I just would figure I'd just jump in to show you guys kind of what, um, where we're at with everything right now, of course. Um, if you didn't catch the last video, we did show the logo that we do have for Killbox. You know, and I'm really in love with it. Mark came up with the concept and, um, you know, uh, etched this out. Um, so, of course, you know, I'm really addicted to it, um, you know, because we spent a lot of time figuring out how we wanted to look, how we wanted to kind of flip it around. And, of course, it has the graffiti look, because if you don't know, Killbox is a story that is about battle rap or basically, um, you know, battle rhyming in hip hop. Um, so that's something that I think is going to need, obviously, a lot of flair. And I think this logo that we've kind of come up here does that. Now, here's the thing. Um, we're well past, actually, any of, like, the designs at this point of just, like, coming up with the characters uh, like we showed in the last video. Um, I don't have a lot here in this particular folder, but I do have a little bit more. And I'm going to show you guys at least one of the finished pages or almost finished pages that we have. Um, so right here is just a sketch page of our or a couple of sketch pages that director kind of actually it's a little bit more than a sketch now that I really think about it. Um, pretty much some of the pages that we almost have fully laid out the pencils for them, at least for um Killbox. This is a later page. Um, this is more so a scene kind of showing more of the relationship you can see between Malik and Darren, which um, are two of the main important characters in this story um, going forward. Darren, of course, being the main character, Malik being kind of like the older brother mentor figure, um, kind of his entry into the hip hop world. Um, and you can see here, I would say if I had to pick between these pages, at least that I have in front of you right now, definitely I like this one a lot. I don't know why I, I really like dig this panel right here, but um, definitely one of my more favorite ones. I know Director, we're going to have to have Director on one of these videos, but I know he really <laughs> had fun doing kind of like this little sketch right here. You know, I don't have the finished page that he's done of this one yet, but um, one of the things about, you know, when we're kind of going through all of this is... Um, definitely trying to show off the personality that these characters really have. This story has a lot of personality. Um, now, what I really wanted to bring you guys on here to show you today was more so kind of what I, um, some of the, um, what it looks like to transfer a page that you write versus a page of art into life. So as you can see here, we have um, of course, page one of showing the um, the um, basically kind of like the kickoff to the story right here on the right hand side of the screen. You know, I got it side by side for you guys because you can kind of see this is what I wrote and this is what director actually put into action. So there actually are some differences. A lot of people don't understand that whenever you're doing writing or if you're if let's say you're working with an artist if you're just simply a writer i know some of you guys pair up as both but if you're working as just a writer this is an example of what i've talked about in some of the previous videos like the the um you know your manga sucks videos that i used to do of what it means when manga or when artists and writers working together is like a marriage you know, because you may not always get exactly spot on what you put down. You know, you can see here I said panel one, two hip hop guys stand on the stage in the midst of a face off with a crowd surrounding them. Um, and then it says current day television broadcast. So it's pretty much the same thing. But of course, um, you know, it's showing it, you know, um, you know, from the perspective of the shop showing the television screen. Right. Um, you hear cheers from the crowd that obviously be added in there. A hand triumphantly holds a mic into the air. So that's a little bit of a difference. So you see panel one is pretty much the same as what you see on pay, you know, like on what I have written down, what's what's here, but you don't have the necessarily um, a second panel um, showing a hand triumphantly holding a mic into the air. But that's because, you know, a director was able to make um, the um, decision that that wasn't necessarily necessary in this page. Um, you know, and that's obviously something that 
you know, with us both being storytellers, you know, with me writing the script and him telling that story through art, you know, um, you know, we can make those decisions together, you know, in this situation, you know, with him being the artist, you know, he's telling that story through the art, you know, and I'm basically kind of hitting the beats of the story through the writing, you know, and as long as we are on the same page, those beats, and that's the important thing about why, you know, you and the you know, the artists coming together is so important. And this is an example of that right here. Um, you know, of course you have the Dar Darren sitting in the chair. You see that right here. Um, and of course, you know, the same thing with Malik. So all the characters that are in the page, that need to be in the page are in this page. But when you, and then of course, there's something else that's kind of interesting about this too, you know. Um, now, even though this page isn't done, this is a more... A, slight, a lot more finished version of it than where we clearly um, left off before. You see here that hair texture has been added in. This is where um, Liz, um, who has been inking um, the um, pages for Killbox, um, she's kind of been working on that. So you see here, this is where she's adding the hair textures and went over a lot of the line work. I know some of it, you know, already probably kind of has that inked feel right here, um, a little bit, you know, right here. And that's kind of just based on kind of how we started off early on with some of the pages. Um, but, um, but yeah, this definitely um, still isn't quite finished. This is just a little bit more of a finished version. And I'm, I really love the, um, the hair textures. I'm not going to lie to you, you know, um, I think it makes it pop out a lot more um, than even when I looked at from where it was right here. And I don't think you see that all the time, you know, at least in manga, you know, I don't think we really get, you don't see a lot of manga get black hair right, and you know, in, at least in my opinion. Um, and then, of course, you know, this is like page two. But with page two, the difference between page two um, on my script and page two on here is that actually page two is a lot shorter right here, and it's and it's broken up more. So this actually breaks into another page on like so i don't have this pulled up for you right now but like director actually has the other page um sketched out um and continues this scene um on another page so it's kind of split in two you have some of it right here some of it right here and then there's another whole other page and that again is another creative decision you know when you're working together you know sometimes that you have situations i feel like where writers think that everything makes sense to happen on one page, but then maybe the artist might be able to make that determination. Like, no, I think it fits better split up into two because they're the ones actually doing the art. They're directing it. And I think it's so funny that directors, like his pen name is director, but <laughs> you know, but they're directing the scene, no pun intended. But in any case, um, this is a good example of that. And, um, you know, this page isn't quite done either. I've, obviously you can kind of see where there's an outline. Um, like a blue outline kind of showing where the light comes from and everything, you know, so that's just signals that they kind of send to each other, um, you know, when working on this, but um, yeah, this is um, just a quick update. I wanted to give you guys kind of to show you a little bit of what we're doing. Cause I haven't showed you guys really much of anything lately on the Killbox project. Um, you know, as I said, you know, we're really excited about this and I just really wanted to at least share something, you know, cause this project is, you know, we're going through it pretty quickly now and um, yeah, I just wanted you guys to be able to, um, you know, see, you know, what I see, at least in terms of, um, you know, what's happening with it. Um, you know, with that being said, you know, we are going to be coming out with some, um, other updates and some other things that we're working on too, on top of this project. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, and, um, definitely, you know, it, it, I would appreciate it if, of course, you'd like this video. Um, and subscribe if you enjoy videos like this. Uh, quick update. I do want to say that we are doing Shining Spotlight, uh, the show that highlights creatives in the industry in order to inspire a lot of you guys uh, this uh, Sunday. So we're doing our season four, 12 episodes like usual. Um, you know, first guest that we have, Steve Bennett. Um, so I hope that a lot of you guys out there are excited. You know, we have a lot planned for this season, like a ton um, and of course there's going to be more update videos like this for the Killbox project and some other future projects we have coming up as well. Um, with that being said, again, subscribe, like the video, hit the bell so you don't miss any notifications and you guys have a wonderful day. See you guys.